Okay, that's cool and all, but even more exciting than all that, Riot just announced a League of Legends eSports Manager game. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, my name is GBay99, and I am very excited today because Riot has this big, exciting 10-year anniversary going on for League of Legends where they are dropping all kinds of bombshells. There's a new card game for League. There's a new FPS. There's an anime coming out. There's the fighting game. There apparently is some sort of action RTS battler in the in the style of like Diablo and, and those kinds of games. and, and so so much more league for mobile tft for mobile it's really exciting right now but you guys know me the only thing i really care about if we're being frank is introducing the league of legends esports manager as this post reads today we are excited to announce lol esports manager a new game that puts you in the role of a team manager leading a top tier professional league of legends team it sounds like this is my kind of jam boys my favorite games are, are sports games at this point apart from league and, and runescape my favorite games are football manager the maddens mlb the show nhl i've been the this is all the kind of stuff I've been playing, and it is so exciting that there is now going to be a League of Legends esports version of that. It says here, first launching for the LPL in 2020, LOL Esports Manager will provide players with the full experience of what it takes to run an esports team through making major decisions that include strategy selection. I assume this is like the tactics in Football Manager where you are determining what you want your team to be focusing on, how, you know, how they're going to play the game. You set the instructions, then they go out and play. Pre-match band and picks. This is actually very exciting as well. I don't know if any of you guys have played MLB The Show, but in MLB The Show, when you do the manager mode, because there's 162 games in a baseball season, you have an option to do like a quick manage where you essentially go through and you can, you know, you set your your pitcher, your starting pitcher, you choose, okay, how do you want them to pitch? Do you want them to walk a guy? Do you want to pitch around him? Do you want to just try and pitch and strike him out? Do you want to, uh, you know, do, do whatever, throw a pick off? And it's all very quick. Um, so this is like very exciting for me because it's, it's, it sounds like the same sort of managerial decisions that you would have in, in something like MLB the show where you're, you know, you're choosing when to pull a pitcher, what kind of reliever to bring in, who your closer is going to be, yada, yada, yada. And winning the off season by building the best team possible. That just sounds like typical transfer stuff, which is very interesting. And I'm actually kind of excited for this. We might get a little bit of insight into what players are paid because a lot of that is fairly, fairly hidden behind closed doors. Not a lot of people have public knowledge of the salary of an average League of Legends player, but salary negotiation is a huge part of sports games and franchise modes, so we might actually get an understanding of what the average salary is for a League player. Using gameplay that combines esports strategy with a brand new AI system, the title will create a tactical experience bespoke to LOL Esports. This is really exciting for me to read as well because, again, I don't know how much my audience knows about sports games, but this phrase right here combines esports strategy with a brand new AI system. This sounds like Riot has created their own sim engine. So again, when you're playing a sports game or at least a managerial sports game, a huge component that often makes or breaks whether it's a good sports game or bad sports game is how good the, the sim engine is. Most of the time, you are not playing through the game yourself. And even if you are, again, a lot of it's being run by AI where you're just making managerial decisions of who's starting, what kind of plays to run, that kind of stuff. So oftentimes a sim engine is, is something that can be very fickle. For example, in the Madden 20 sim engine, for some reason, Jacoby Brissett goes to the Saints in the offseason for 2020 every single time. He he wins rookie, or not rookie of the year, but he wins MVP like the second season or something and just turns into this god, even though he's a kind of mediocre quarterback in the NFL. But the sim engine is kind of broken right now. And, and for some reason, that specific character is just becoming really strong. I really hope this sounds like Riot did a great job really understanding how important the sim engine is and that hopefully they created a really solid one here. It also says you will be able to play through the game in two ways, experiencing an esports story through the eyes of a single protagonist or competing against friends and other players through ranked play. Dude, a ranked version of this sounds super cool and I'm really excited about that. But I'm also kind of curious about the phrasing of you'll be able to play through the game in two ways, experiencing an esports story through the eyes of a single protagonist. I assume that just means playing as a single coach and that's it. 
but a small part of me really hopes this refers to like a road to glory mode in the vein of NCAA 14. I don't know if that's too much to ask, but that sounds pretty cool and I would love to see that happen. I don't really know how the ranked play is gonna work because, you know, oftentimes I've, I've played football manager and that has like a leaderboard. There are multiplayer versions of NCAA dynasties or Madden dynasties or franchise modes and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know if that's just gonna be like a ranking thing or, you know, maybe it could actually be a competitive thing, not just a ranking thing. The title will first release for the LPL in 2020 with the intention of gradually expanding and including players from other leagues. The reach and depth of the LPL provides the ideal environment to launch the first League of Legends game in the sports management manager genre, my favorite genre, thanks Riot for catering to me, and create a product that deeply rep resonates with her fans before broadening to additional regions. Okay, so this is kind of interesting because it sounds like Riot's going to be pushing this out before they introduce any region other than the LPL. So essentially what that means is we're going to be doing like a Rogue Warriors rebuild. We're, we're going to be making a Rogue Warriors rebuild franchise series for our YouTube channel. That's kind of cool. There's essentially two things that make sports management games fun. Uh, the first of which, actually that's a lie. There's a million things that make sports management games fun. This is the best game genre there is. But anyway, it sounds like the LPL is going to be the only playable region with like active rosters and everything that are accurate and updated um, at the very beginning, at the start of the release of this game, which that's kind of fine. The LPL has more teams in it than any other region, which I mean, that that's, that's cool, right? right? Um, and, and there's plenty of different teams that we can, you know, that you can play through. We can do a Rogue Warriors rebuild. We can do an Oh My God rebuild, LGD rebuild. It's going to be really fun. We're going to do so many rebuilds. But on top of that, they also have a developmental league, which, you know, that that's, again, every region now has a developmental league, I believe, for League of Legends. But to, to see the developmental league, um, that, that's, that, that makes me excited. You know, I've recently been getting more into NHL, uh, NHL 20. As well as MLB The Show, which having a developmental league, you know, in, in baseball, each team has two playable leagues in one in AAA, one in AA. And actually, I think you have single A as well um, in, in uh, baseball management games where, you know, part of developing a player is when you sign a player, when you draft a player, you don't just immediately put them into the major leagues the way you do for drafting an NFL prospect. You start them off in double A ball, in single A, triple A ball, and then they eventually improve and develop as a player that they can then be brought up into the top league. That is something that I've been saying League of Legends needs. League needs people to actually use a developmental league like that, which no team seem to be doing so, but you know, th this will, you know, having having this big, huge developmental league is going to be really exciting because being able to being able to see your players develop, sign them, send them to the lower league, have them compete in this massive lower league, and hopefully seeing them improve and everything. That's just really exciting and fun, dude. I'm excited. There's a lot of different things that I really hope this game ends up having, but the biggest one is I just hope that Riot does a really good job of tying it into not real world events, but one of the best parts about sports management games is getting to see the things that happen. When you play Madden and you see who wins the Super Bowl, who wins Rookie of the Year, who wins all these different awards at the end of the year and, and the different things that happen in game or playing football manager and seeing, you know, Jurgen Klopp go and get hired by Bayern Munich or, or you know, the different kinds of coaching swaps that happen, how players end up developing 10 years down the line, that kind of stuff. And, and even seeing things like Brexit happen and how that affects the different scouting rules for when you're scouting Europe and, and that kind of stuff. There's just a lot of different fun things that can get tied into just seeing what kind of stuff happens. And even if Riot's only starting with the LPL, which that's perfectly fine, I would take a game that's only the LPL if it means I get to play it in early 2020 rather than having to wait another year. Um, that that's perfectly fine. But I, I hope Riot has their has their goals and, and their eyes set on really high highs because this could be a very exciting game that I am very excited for, dude. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. This 10 year anniversary that Riot has done just completely blew me away. It is it has knocked me off my feet and I am so happy with how 
everything has panned out. Thanks again, also, by the way, Riot, for featuring me in that one video you did. Um, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm really excited for this game, but there's actually a lot more games that came out that I'm excited for. I might make a few videos, look for that coming out soon. There's a new card game that I, uh, that I still have to play through, a ton of other different games that are coming out, and I probably should make a big video that, that compiles all the different things and features I would love to see in this LOL Esports Manager. But anyway, whatever video I have coming out next, I hope you enjoyed watching this one. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, thank you very much for watching, good luck in solo queue, and have a wonderful day.